Okay guys, there are no vampires in Transylvania. Look, look, see? No vampires. There's a police car right there, but it's not because of a vampire. You expect a jump scare now, right? There won't be one. We don't have vampires. I hope. Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Castlevania games for the GBA. The first one, Castlevania Circle of the Moon, tries to give more depth to the classic gameplay, but doesn't really succeed in my opinion. You get to use the classic items like the dagger, holy water, a time-stopping watch and an axe, and you can unlock the use of those secondary weapons by whipping candles that give you hearts. Also later in the game you will be able to run, execute a dash attack, double jump, triangle jump off walls and breathe underwater. Also you can use magic cards that grant you extra stuff like for example you can get surrounded by magic spores that protect you or heal or deal more damage. The card system is a nice addition that actually adds quality depth to the game. But a thing that will annoy you, at least it annoyed me, is that now you will constantly go to the menu to drink potions and this will put a halt to the fun. You play a little, then stop to drink a potion and after some minutes you need another one. Saving your progress is done in saving rooms that serve as some sort of checkpoints. Also the game is filled with magic items that can boost your stats and you really need as many items as you can as Castlevania Circle of the Moon is no piece of cake, it's challenging and you need any help that you can get, especially before getting to the final boss, Dracula. Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance has the same tried and true formula. You are a guy that wants to take down Dracula. This time you don't play with Nathan, the character from Circle of the Moon, but with Just. That has an extra ability. While pressing the shoulder button, he can have quick bursts forward or backwards. In Rust, the game formula is the same. You collect relics to gain new abilities. Once you've gained the new ability, you can explore new parts of the castle that before were out of bounds for you because you couldn't jump far enough or high enough, you can use a lot of sidearms, but even if the gameplay formula is the same, it has one major difference. It is easier. Harmony of Dissonance is an easier to beat game than Circle of the Moon, that had frustratingly hard moments throughout most of its playthrough. Here things are easier, so that you can enjoy the game more. Also the new elemental system and the magic you can use look pretty cool. Castlevania Area of Sorrow has a new character, Soma Cruz, but the villain is the same, Dracula, and so is the game formula. But what is different is the difficulty. This time it's a very good balance between a hard game and an easy one. You can stack the Castlevania trilogy on GBA on difficulties. You get e easy, Harmony of Dissonance, Medium, Area of Sorrow, and Heart, Circle of the Moon. I know the story and the character you play with is different in each one of them, but not playing the games for the story isn't a loss. You still explore the castle, whip monsters, upgrade your character to jump higher and progress to other parts of the castle, use sidearms and magic. It's a great experience, but you have to admit that the story isn't the strong point of any of the three games and the game formula is alike, so my comparison with difficulty settings can be accepted. It's not true or right or completely right, they are not the same game, of course, but they are similar enough to make the comparison. Anyway, there is a difference though. In Area of Sorrow, the card system in Circle of the Moon and the Elemental Magic system of Harmony of Dissonance have been replaced by Soma's ability to absorb his enemies and gain their powers. It's a great system and much like all the weapons in the game, packs a surprising amount of variety. I mean, only the video on YouTube that showcases all the abilities you get lasts 33 minutes, so you can guess how many abilities you get. Basically, each time Soma strikes down a foe, and there is a big ton of different types of enemies, there's a chance that he will absorb that enemy's ability, 
and be able to use it in battle, which is pretty cool. Also a classic NES Castlevania game cartridge was released, so just know that the original game, the original Castlevania, was released too on DGBA.